Hi guys, I know it's been a while, but I'm back and I'm back with a major lock restoration. My client today has had his hair matted this way for several years. Before I go through this lock restoration, I do like to remind viewers that people go through things in life that some of us may not understand. So just remember that before judging. As you can see, his hair has formed into a giant mass, but he still has his original locks attached to the mass. So what I'm doing here is removing the original set of locks from the mass. Lucky for me, he still has majority of those locks. Now, I know some stylists that would attempt to detangle this entire mass. I am not that girl. So, what I plan to do is just take my shears, my very, very sharp shears, and just cut um, majority of it off because all of that hair is dead. It's matted. It's just shedded hair and it's it, it's pretty much unnecessary to take all that time to detangle that entire mass of hair. The buildup that you're seeing is a combination of old product that never got properly rinsed out or a product that got trapped because it wasn't a great product to put in the hair anyway. Um, dead skin, dander, um, and in some cases that I've seen, even mold can be in the hair. Um, so I definitely recommend wearing gloves and um, using a disposable cape. So along with gloves and disposable cape, I also highly recommend a disposable apron, Lysol wipes, Clorox wipes. Now that you're done with your detangling, this is the part your client cannot wait for. So make it count. <laughs> uh, a good shampoo and con deep conditioning treatment Take your time with it. I promise you, your client is going to thank you for it. And as you can see, he is very, very relaxed. And look at those suds. Lather it up. I mean, get all the bubbles you can get. And with your shampooing process, I highly recommend a clarifying shampoo, a moisturizing shampoo, and a conditioner. As you can see here, his hair is soft, moisturized, and manageable, and ready for your next step. So for your next step, you're going to part your client's hair to match the locks that you're going to be attaching. This part is very important and you really wanna take your time because you wanna make sure that the sections are neat and uniform. You also want to take your time with this because this is how your client's hair is going to be parted the entire time that they have the, their locks. So you definitely wanna make sure you, you get these parts approved by your client. When it came to this particular client, I had to detox his locks four times. And I also used a clarifying shampoo twice. And because it was difficult to record, I did not record the entire process of me detoxing his locks, but I rang them out and rinsed and rinsed until the water ran clear. 
I used a micro crochet tool and the crochet method to install his locks. The entire process took about six to seven hours. And this also included a style, which will be my final step and he opted for a two strand twist. And because this entire process is so long and timely, I do talk and connect with my clients and I offer lots of education on how to take care of your hair. I give a care guide. I make referrals to other stylists, especially if they're coming from areas where they don't have locticians or it's not very common. And I also give tips on how to care for it and style it themselves. And because my client traveled such a great distance and he was so grateful for uh, the service that I provided him today, I hooked him up with some merch, which you can also purchase on our website. So we have uh, bucket hats and backless satin lined caps. And he also purchased some of our products, which was our maintenance kit, which includes our shampoo, conditioner, and lock and twist gel. And he also got a product guide. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe.